So my aim is to bring forward knowledge about what climate change will mean in terms of infectious diseases and what action would be needed in the future. My name is Joachim Rocklöf and I'm researching how climate change impacts on health. The climate crisis has not yet deprived people in Europe of their livelihoods. The consequences of climate change still seem far away. Joachim Rocklöf manages to unmask climate change in an impressive way. His research on the connection between global health, global environmental changes, and the epidemiology of infectious diseases is as innovative as it is groundbreaking. I'm very fascinated by how insects and climate are interlinked and how that affects us as, as a society and humans. I, I think that's fascinating and it's a very complex system. So there are so many questions to, to study in order to understand where we're going with the global environmental changes, climate changes, and what we can do about it in order to prevent diseases. Rockluff is investigating the connections between climate change and the spread of infectious diseases, such as malaria, dengue, or yellow fever. Primarily, he is using data science and mathematical methods. His focus is on vector-borne diseases, infectious diseases in which pathogens are transmitted from an animal or human to another organism by a vector, such as mosquitoes or ticks. It's quite clear, particularly when it comes to vector-borne diseases like dengue, there's very strong trends in, in terms of how the reproductive value, the r not value, has uh, picked up over the last decades. But it's very clear that the situation is, is getting worse in terms of um, the, the global burden of disease. If global temperatures are rising, mosquitoes that were previously only at home in equatorial regions can spread to new habitats. Warmer is better is the general rule for vectors such as mosquitoes. But there are many other factors at play, in the laboratory and in field studies, Rocklove is investigating these complex relationships between temperature and the ability of vectors to transmit diseases. A lot of diseases are not a local issue, it's a global issue. If you want to make a difference, you need to work with the people on the ground because they partly have more knowledge about the situation and what works about the culture. If you really want to contribute to the change in local societies. You can't sit at your desk and just um, expect that people will love it. The world doesn't work like that. In Heidelberg, Röglöf is now working on the next crucial steps. As a Humboldt professor, he will set up and head Germany's first AI laboratory for global infectious diseases and climate change. His research philosophy is based on an innovative combination of data from various disciplines worldwide. Methods are included from AI, data science, and machine learning. With his team, he is developing early warning systems, which help to inform about the emergence and spreading of diseases. By linking climate change scenarios with empirical disease models, predictions can be made about how certain diseases, such as dengue, will develop in different climate forecast and climate change scenarios. If we strongly reduce greenhouse gas emissions and stick to the two-degree target, the spread of dengue will be limited. If we continue as before, many more countries could be at a higher risk of outbreaks by the end of the 21st century. Furthermore, the duration of the seasonal transmission period would be extended. My strength is to pull the data together in, uh, in a model in uh, the most insightful way. It's very difficult to take decisions just from data, but if you use a model, you basically can integrate the data into much wider context. And that's super important if you want to you know, have a well and a, a strong basis for your decisions. Everything revolves around this question. How can we use this information and our new technologies to prevent outbreaks of infectious diseases and optimize epidemic management? Together with epidemiologist Till Bernighausen, who also came to Germany as a Humboldt professor, Rockloff will focus on concrete projects, 
such as designing the sewage and drainage systems in Barcelona to minimize the risk of mosquito hotspots. Rethinking the future by taking climate change seriously and tackling the growing challenges with all their health consequences. Like usually in evidence-based science, you want to wait and collect evidence. That's not going to happen. We can't do that. It's going to take 30, 40 years until it happens and then we can't reverse. So we can't change it then. We can only change it today. <laughs>